Hello, and welcome to A New Wave Museum. I'm Rachel Unruh, and I am joined today with Dr. Reese Barrick. Uh, so we are trying something a little different today from our regular episodes. We are doing a Let's Play of Jurassic World Evolution. I thought this would be a great opportunity for Reese to learn how to play video games and for me, as well as our audience, to learn a little more about paleontology through the use of pop culture and video games. So Reese, what do you think so far? Oh, it's going to be fascinating because, you know, I, I think I've played Mario Kart on the Wii, and that's about it for my <laughs> video game experience. So haven't this, haven't done anything else? This will be it. I've never been on a PlayStation, Ooh. so it's going to be a whole new thing for me. I love it. Okay, so... Um, so again, the game is Jurassic World Evolution. This game, I believe, came out in 2018, I believe. Um, basically what it is, is a game where you can design your own park and, um, normally, like, mayhem can happen because you're trying to do, like, contracts or you're trying to, like, build your, your, your your own Jurassic Park and you know just like in the movies mayhem can can happen and so um, but we don't have like the main game um, playthrough set up what we have is the sandbox do you know what sandbox is Reese? do you know what that's it? <laughs> other than like you know a thing that holds sand yeah yeah so Sandbox is pretty much like creative mode, right? I, I'm assuming, I thought you played like, you tried to play Minecraft before, right? Have you tried that? I, I, I watched somebody play it and it gave me a headache, so okay. it didn't last very long. <laughs> That's totally fine. So, um, but we're going to have Reese try in Sandbox mode um, to create, like, what would be Reese's Jurassic Park? What would it look like? So right now you have like a blank canvas if you want to zoom out and kind of show everyone how blank it is. Oops. <laughs> there you go. So, see, you have this whole island to um, to design things, and so let's let's get started here. So, let do you want to start on an enclosure, or so I, I will I will say like I will help guide you through this. You'll need to build sidewalks, and you'll need power to power oh, your know. your um, facility. Okay, so the first few minutes here, Reese is learning the controls and getting his essentials down for his park. Um, that included like the electricity and the sidewalks and the enclosure down. Um, so now that he has all that set up, we were ready to start creating our dinosaurs. Now some dinosaurs. Oh, okay, we can do dinosaurs. We need some dinosaurs. Okay, go to the Hammond Creation Lab. So take your cursor on the screen. And you're going to click, click the, the lab, hit enter. All right, and you're going to hit incubate dinosaur. And I'm going to teach you. There we go. Now oh we're my talking. goodness. Okay, so to modify genes, because I'm sure you're interested in creating your unique dinosaur, you're going to hit box. And so see how this is highlighted? So right now you're highlighted on yep. that dinosaur. So let's just... Archaeornithomimus. Let's just go through this list because I this cool. is the part I was super excited about because um, Reese, as a paleontologist, <laughs> I'm sure you know a thing or two about these dinosaurs. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, Ooh, we got, oh, we got a lot... Oh, there. Yeah, there's Where? some that I, I did not get okay. unlocked, but so these are the cool critters ones. that I got so far. <laughs> these are cool. Oh, some Dallasaurus. That's interesting. Get our Chinese duckbill. Chinese duckbill. Which one? Right there. That one? Yeah. Okay, so I can I can see that um, in like kind of like the main game, and we can probably set this up too. I don't know if you can do it in sandbox mode, but you can go out to different areas, like formations, or dig sites, and you can dig for like fossils. And so there's some formations on there that I'm, I'm sure you've heard of, like there's Hell Creek, mm -hmm. um, there's like, I think there's Morrison, um, there's like Laramie, I can't think of where else. 
I do know, like, don't don't we have a few stuff from Hell's like the Hell Creek? Is it Hell's Creek or Hell Creek? Just Hell Creek. Okay, Hell Creek. I call. I'm sorry. I call it Hell's Creek. <laughs> so, do don't we have a few specimens in the museum that are from Hell Creek? Or, I mean, I just I know that name sounds familiar because I've heard yeah. you guys talk about it before. Like what? In, yeah. I know in the game, like usually, I think you can find like a lot of like. Hell Creek T-Rex. Lance Two Medicine, depending on whether you're, Hell Creek and Lance are both end of the Mr. Din. Mm-hmm. Then, which is the end of dinosaur time. Yeah. Okay. Montana's also got two medicine, which is a little bit earlier, where you've got more of your, a few more cool different duck builds and things. So what, what normally do you find there other than like the duck bills? Like, can you find T Rex in Hell Creek? Hell Creek is T Rex and then Triceratops okay. and Edmontosaurus are the the three that you probably find. Top find. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I think in the game I. I think you See, can find T-Rex there. There's Edmontosaurus there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think you can find... No, my, my, my enclosure's not that big, so i got to find something small enough to... Oh, you can you can pretty much fit all these dinosaurs in your enclosure. Oh, okay. It just depends, like, you know, if you put a or an carnivore and an herbivore in there. All they're right, going so to fight! <laughs> here we go. Here's the thing. I'm going to want, I want a Crichtonsaurus, because, you know... That's the author of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Michael Crichton. So it's gotta have You're gonna have gotta have it. So Is I'm, that I'm gonna take it. I want it. Okay, cool. You can have two if you want. Um scroll down to the second hatching. Yeah, hit hatching incubate. Bait. Yep. So before you, you before you hit incubate though, hit box. Box button on the controller. Okay, so here you can edit its genes. Ah, so you can change sweet. the color of it and you can make it more aggressive. You can make its immune system stronger. You can make um, like it's um, like you can kind of like make it smarter, I suppose. <laughs> See all those like different options. Um, you gotta hit, yeah, down the D-pad. See, so skin, toughness. Skin toughness, aggressive instincts, intensive repair. And this, this like null gene. We don't want null genes. He's already that pretty tough. See skin. how like the rating and like the defense goes up when you think about adding the genetics. Isn't that cool? Now how do I how do I get over here to the attack defense lifespan resilience? Thing? Um. So see the different. Markings up top uh-huh. there. Yeah, you gotta use the the um yeah the oh, bumpers. Yeah, the bumpers. My bad. I can't think of the name. So that's defense. So shield equals defense. The clock equals lifespan, and I think the the slash mark equals attack. Okay. Yeah. Well, Sixty-eight. So if you see. use the D-pad down. down. See how the lifespan went up from like, what was it, 65 to 85? Uh-huh. Cardio strength, went immune up. response, and hyper efficient blood. Ooh. Let's go with immune response. Cool. Yeah. All right, so there's that for lifespan. So you can either go left or right. Mm-hmm. Left is, I think, defense, and right is attack. I think you'll have a little different options for defense and attack. I think. I don't know. Two So would you think this type of dinosaur would be aggressive in in real no, life? No, I don't think these guys are too aggressive. They're just kind of hanging out, eating, and they're not all that smart. So they're not like. You know, Smart. They're, they're walking <laughs> boxes of rocks. Gotcha. Right? So they're just kind of out there eating, hanging out. And it's not until somebody... T- the thing is, they're really slow. Mm-hmm. And when you're re- really slow and you're really big and you can't hide anywhere, you got to have some other defenses. Right. And you don't want to go looking for trouble. Mm-hmm. So it's mostly like 
you just hang out, be yourself, and then have plenty of armor. And these guys have a nice little, so you know, if they had to swing their tail to try to hit somebody and break a leg, they can, but mm -hmm. they're not out looking for trouble. Gotcha. So this kind of reminds me like, kind of like an ankylosaur. Are they related in any they way? They are. Okay. Yes. This one you can see, the notosaurs, the ankylosaurs have the little club at the end of their tail, like this mm -hmm. guy has a little club at the end of his tail, so he's going to be closely related. Gotcha. Is it also like we have at the museum, we have a specimen on display yeah. called Nyabrasaurus, which is more of a notosaur, okay. which has no club on the end of his tail. And there's a difference between those and two? They're two different sort of families within the ankylos or the ankylosauria. Gotcha. There's, there's actually three different sort of families in that big group. Gotcha. And are they all kind of like, I know like anytime we talk about Nyabrasaurus, a lot of times it's like described like a cow, kind of cow-like, so like in size and also kind of like in temperament, I suppose. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I guess you'll see in the game, we'll see how, how um, its temperament is. Um, I guess I, also depending on what you, you put for its genes. <laughs> um, But, um, I don't know, I've, I've had, in this game, I've had the Ankylosaur out, and he is definitely, like, when he leaves the, in, or when he leaves the creation station, he's almost very, like, Eeyore-ish, like, okay, I guess I'm coming out now. <laughs> a lot of times they get, like, when some of the dinosaurs are released, you'll probably see in a little bit, it's Where like, they'll, go? Where we go? they'll do, like, a shake of their head or their roar or something. But, um, oh, did you want that skin applied? Yep. Oh, yep. scroll down, because you applied the null genes. Hit enter. Now hit back, if you're all done. There you go. And now you're going to hit incubate. All right. Let's release the dinosaur. Yes. Here he goes. <gasps> Reese's first dinosaur. <laughs> Look at him. He's a beautiful tank. He is a beautiful tank. Look at his eyes. Hello. He look, you could go right in. He does look so happy, doesn't he? He's happy. You avoid the tail and you can jump on and you can go for a ride. And oh, look at him look around. Oh, I've never had this one before. Oh, he's so cute. Now he's probably going to run and get water. But he's not going to run. He's not going to run. He's not, he's not much of a runner. He's just looking around. He's taking the sights in. You know, some of my favorite animals are turtles. Like, he is kind of turtle-like. Turtle kind of thing. Okay, I don't... Did we play speeders in? He's gonna be hungry. Let's get him some food, shall we? We can't just eat everything that's there around him? No, Come on, eat. Got, See, remember okay. how we talked earlier about Jurassic Park and mm. there needs a specific diet? <laughs> you think you can't eat modern Off plants, camera. huh? No, I bet they need special plants. But we've got some, we got some. some I mean, he is grazing, look at Yeah. Uh, he might be rough on his teeth because they're not used to grasses, which <gasps> have all these little silica in there to grind his little tiny teeth down. Let's talk which about that. would not that. be good. Let's talk about teeth. So like, earlier today, um, before we started recording, Reese and I, we were talking about Jurassic Park and like the flaws and speculations of like how, based on the evidence that we know of dinosaurs, how would they, like how would it work in like Jurassic Park? And so one of the, we got caught up on like, was it Bra the Brachiosaurus? Brachiosaurus. Yeah, we talked about its neck. We talked about like- Problems with breathing. Breathing. Getting enough oxygen down. It's gotta go through a big long tube with a lot of dead air space. Mm -hmm. And then we also talked about like how, how would it, how could it survive on an island because of the requirements yeah. that Brachiosaurus is used to, like the reason why it evolved the way it did, versus like suddenly being on an island, different environment than what it was like meant to be. Because you're saying warm-blooded tends to, if it was on an island, warm-blooded tends to to be a pygmy, they tend to go smaller. Yeah, because they, they take a lot of food, and 
if you have too many of them on an island, there's not going to be enough food. So if they can survive long enough and reproduce, over time they'll get smaller and smaller mm -hmm. because they need so much food so they get smaller and smaller so they can eat less food. Right. Which would be a very interesting to have a pygmy brachiosaur. It would be so cute. <laughs> and then if you had a pygmy brachiosaur, it wouldn't have as many problems if it tried to drink and having blood pressure, all the blood rush to his head and right, give like, him a stroke or something like that. Yeah, we're, we're so, like we were talking about giraffes when they bend down. Well, one, they have to splay their legs. But two, because when their head dips down like that, all the blood would rush to their head if they didn't cut the blood off. So their, their, jugular, bla their jugular vein pretty much closes off for that way they can get a drink. But like, the one thing that really fascinated me, because I never thought about this, is breathing for a brachiosaur. But um, trying to bring air all the way down that neck would just it's, be because it, it's it's got to move uh, all of the dead air space and move it someplace, and mm -hmm. then to breathe out, it's got to kind of move it all the way out, and that's really tough. So, uh, especially if you don't have a diaphragm like mammals do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you just have rib breathing, you're just trying to expand your space. It's hard to move a lot of air. Right. So, like for example, your little dinosaur here, you wouldn't. He wouldn't be considered like he'd breathe through the diaphragm, right? No, because he, so he, he doesn't have one. So he doesn't have one. He's just got to use his ribs to create space in his lungs to pull air in mm -hmm. and then push air back out. Right, okay, so he... Space. I never even thought about, like, because I'm, I'm a mammal, and I'm around mammals most of the time. I'm used to just thinking, like, oh, they breathe like us, you know, we take take enough breath air, we take it out, but like birds even breathe differently and exactly. reptiles breathe differently. So how would an island climate <laughs> suit suit your, your dinosaurs? Well, the thing um, is, you know, a lot of these dinosaurs, especially if they get bigger, they need to have enough flat area because they can't climb mountains, especially if you think they're really, really big. Mm -hmm. They can't climb mountains, and if they do, they need to breathe a whole heck of a lot more and breathe heavier, which makes it really difficult on them. So they, the bigger ones are definitely going to need some flat space so that they can manage to, to not run out of air. And right. Basically. <laughs> Your turtle here. We should just name him Mr. Turtle. <laughs> um, I think he's glitching out on the side of the wall there, but... He's fine. You can move the camera. There you go. Do you want to um, hit back? And let's give him a friend. Because I think your other guy is right. Oh, yeah. See the chuck mark above the creation? Yep. So you're going to hit the creation lab. You should move oh. your cursor over to it. Kind of like a computer. You have your cursor over it, then you will. Wait. There you go. Other analog stick. There you go. So right here. Yes. And then All right. use your D-pad, or your, I guess you could use the analog stick too. One of the two, the bump down. All right. Mhm. Mm this one was your gen your genetically modified dinosaur. Oh, so the first one wasn't genetically nope, modified. You this just, one is. You just hatched like a regular okay. one. So I mean, it's gonna so be boom, cool. Let's We're going to see a difference between because you did a different color right. scheme let's check him out let's check him out they're just so happy it's like a bob rock it's, yeah exactly happy little dinosaur it's a happy little dinosaur <laughs> but then happy look at his face i just think his face is so cute see look at that club on his tail oh i know so if you go mess with him he <laughs> needs smack ears break your leg Check yourself before you wreck yourself type exactly. deal. Which kind of dinosaur like, do you want? Where are you gonna bite with? this guy? There's no place to bite him. I, it's like a armadillo. So he's he's very well protected because he's not he's not small enough to hide. He's not fast enough to run away. And he's oh, there oh, we go. He's gonna take a nap. Uh, just chill. <laughs> and especially when you Aww. go to sleep a whole lot of times, it's good to have the armor there because then exactly. you're you're just easy he just, pickings. Uh, this is totally your dinosaur. This is such a race yeah. dinosaur. You know, and, and the great thing is, you know, it's he's kind of like, you know, your your armadillo porcupine. Somebody's he got a big uh, meat eater. He's got to somehow figure out how to flip him over to get to his belly. Right. So he just does not want to get flipped over. I mean, look at the spikes on him. Like, I would, 
I don't know if I want to mess with him if I was a dinosaur. I guess it depends on how hungry you are. <laughs> oh, right. oh man, okay. shake it off. Ta-da! Do you know how to get to the rest of the area? Or are you gonna come over here and do the same thing? He's gonna ex come over here and eat and then explore. He's gonna explore. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Okay, so I think you can put food out there if you want. I don't. Maybe you don't have to worry about it too much, but I'll just show you how to do that. So if you want to scroll out to the middle of your your pasture or your enclosure, excuse me. Look at your other guys over there get drinking water. So you want to go to enclosures on your oh. menu. Yeah, sorry, not not your cursor. Then you're gonna use the D-pad to scroll down to like see the goat there. Yeah, feeders. I'm gonna click that. And then this is for ground herbivores. So you're gonna go into the middle of your pasture. Ta da! And you're just gonna place that down, and then they can go find that whenever. So there's your feeder. Awesome. See it pop up? Yep. So in Jurassic Park, going back to like our previous conversation, you wanna go make another dinosaur? Oh, of course I do. Okay. So that way, before I get off on another tangent so you're gonna bring your cursor over to oh look at him run wait look at him run oh, he's hungry he's hungry ah! Ah, <laughs> okay so move your cursor over to the hammond lab there you go and uh... so you so since this is a herbivore pen you probably want to just stick with herbivores because if you put a meat eater, meat yep. eater in there, you're going to lose your dinosaurs. So we're back to the hatching bay. Mm -hmm. And now we want to pick another dinosaur. Yeah. So let's see. Did what? I get Gallimina? Gallim is that how you pronounce it? Gallimimus? Gallimimus. Yep. Now. I think I have. See. Oh, there it is. Right there. Do I, I'm, I'm blind. I do like. See, see there's a notosaurus. Kind of like the. See oh, you were no talking about tongue. dog. No, no. Yeah, he has. He does not have a club tail. Now, what's interesting? Ooh. Now, do I want to do a bunch of different kinds of armored dinosaurs? That's the question. <gasps> so that people can compare them. Compare them. And contrast and we, see how cool the different ones are. You know what? This is. Like I said, this is your world it's today. My world. So I'm, I'm, kind of... I'm just living in it right now. This is his. This is your world, Reese. <laughs> I think we gotta. We may just go to. Okay. The... Do you want to modify its genes? Let me just check. Uh, yeah, I kind of. You kind of do. I kind of just want to. See, hit. Gotta, this is our Chinese one here. Mm hmm. So Remember, just... hit box. Don't hit yeah. X, because X will start the process. Ooh, you got all sorts of colors. All righty, let's see here. Okay, so you, this one, you said this is from China, right? Yeah. Okay, this, because of its tail, and this is probably like maybe other people draw comparisons or maybe they don't, but it kind of reminds me of like the stegosaur because yeah. of its tail, but it's not. It's more related to probably, sorry, <laughs> I'm distracting you. <laughs> no, this is, this is a little guy that's becoming a, a stegosaur. Okay, but is it more related to yeah. Stegosaurus? It's more related to Stegosaurus. Okay, so I'm kind of on the right track of like, oh, this is kind of like Stegosaurus. Okay, I really like the the crazy um, shoulder, the I shoulder, know, the shoulder um, spike. spikes. What's the deal with the shoulder? Why do you think they have the evolved shoulder spikes like that? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, because, you know... If people are coming in to try to kill it, they're going to try to get up towards the neck. So you got a kind of a big way up there. You can't put neck spikes on it. You can't move your neck around very much. So uh -huh. you got some big spikes on your the shoulders to help, help a little with your protection there. It now, you <laughs> can also have problems because these guys aren't very smart either. They're mm -hmm. going to run right in between some trees and get stuck. Stuck. You know, and they can't move. And then oh. they could make themselves vulnerable that way. So That's true. I better stay out where it's more open and not too much going through the, the trees. The trees, exactly. I kind of am like, <laughs> I'm kind of silly. I always think of the shoulder pads from like, what is it, the 80s, the 90s? <laughs> and it's like, uh, they got their, yeah. for, for, for looks, 
you know, you gotta have your shoulder pads <laughs> well, <laughs> to give you those pointy shoulders, you know? That's good, yeah. Maybe. You, you could be like roller, roller blade. You knock people off. I know. I just thought it was a fashion statement. <laughs> the dinosaurs were ahead of its time. They're like, someday, like, in, you know, the 80s, long after we're dead, someone is going to be like, pointy shoulders are, are the things. So we're just gonna like go ahead and involve spikes on their shoulders to do the the shoulder pad thing. Oh, that bro. might be extremely <laughs> dumb, but this guy wants some robot digestion. Ooh, that is awesome. And he can like eat the gross dead leaves and just not get a tummy ache. <laughs> Exactly. Gonna give him some cardio, or well, he's gonna run. Oh, uh, let's just give him some hyper efficient blood. Hyper efficient. Because you know, that means he doesn't have to breathe. But have as good a breathing, but the blood will still be efficient and get the oxygen so everywhere think that he needs. We can evolve our dinosaur to climb a mountain. I'm gonna work on that. Okay. <laughs> gonna help okay. with the cardio. Oh, you gotta scroll over. You got an empty spot. Your shield's an empty spot. Oh, you gotta use the bumpers. Bumper! Or the D-pad. Yeah, I guess the D-pad works. He's not going over anything. Oh. There you go. One more. That's the one that needs something. His defense. <laughs> defense. D, D, D. Defense. Ooh, so he can have tough skin. Or he can be Guess aggressive. Later. Our intensive repair. Oh, let's see what a really dumb dinosaur is if he's aggressive. Ag <laughs> dumb and aggressive. <laughs> Gotta like that, right? Gotta like that. The greatest combination. Okay. So you hit circle for back when you feel complete, and then you're gonna hit hmm. X. X means start the process. Now he's incubating. You can do another dinosaur. You have because I've got um, another hatching bay. Yes, look you at, do. Look at we have another one. Let's see. Okay, so you said uh, armored go dinos. Right so you're, you're going to do your notosaur. Yes. Okay, you're start. You're hatching him now. And let's see. Wait. Do you want to oh, modify? I didn't want to do anything. With oh, okay. Just I'll hit cancel. Cancel. Yeah, there you go. It's okay. Just hit yes. And then hit. Incubate. Oh. X. X again. Oh, wait. Down to the empty. There then hit X again. There you go. And then this time you're going to hit box. Think inside the box. Okay. Arid or coastal. This guy wants the coastal pattern. Yeah. I kinda... These guys live by the ocean a lot. You find these guys in ocean sediments more than almost any other dinosaur and you know that they're not swimmers why why would you think they'd hang out around the coast well what okay first teach me okay what 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 is their timeline where are they, where are they set in the timeline notosaurs are mostly in the uh late cretaceous mm-hmm Mid late Cretaceous, the okay. Campanian, um, through or even a little bit earlier, they can be back Cenomanian through the Maastrichtian, but they're mostly sort of Campanian, and they've got they're at a time when the North America and a lot of different places sea level was really high, mm -hmm. and so what was on land got really carved and patched up into a lot of little coastal areas. Gotcha. And, because the ocean was kind of moving up, and so the rivers dumping into the oceans really carved things up. So there's a lot of coastline, and these guys lived fairly close to it. And when they would die along the coastline, they would, waves or the tide would come up a little bit and wash them into the ocean. Mm -hmm. And after the, usually after they died, before they got swept off into the water, they'd bloat like cows do when they die, and they bloat, and then they wash out into the ocean, which we call bloat and float. They'd float along until some shark or some mosasaur or something would come up and bite it. Mm -hmm. go, and 
all the gas, oh, it would be a smelly, smelly place, but then it would sink to the bottom. Uh huh. And then gradually get buried. So you have these weird tanks that actually made it out sometimes into the middle of the ocean. So that explains why. So I know when you guys do tours, you usually say you cannot find dinosaurs in Kansas because we were, we were a marine. We were a marine setting during the dinosaurs. That's right. But the Nibrosaurus that we have on display was found in, in Kansas. In the ocean. Said and yes. the reason why is what you just said, because of bloat and float. Bloat and float. Bloat and float. Okay, so that's also why sometimes, like, when you find those, those dinosaurs in, like, ocean settings, they have, like, shark teeth. <laughs> the shark teeth in their bones and everything. So... Bloat and float, is that the, the scientific term? Is that like the legit oh, yeah. term? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. Sometimes it's not just big fancy words. No, <laughs> you just... know, paleontologists have very good senses of humor sometimes too. We have <laughs> we create terms that are really cool. Like sometimes, uh, some of my favorite terms are like, uh, we have species that we call Elvis taxa. Elvis taxa. Because you... You think you see something, but it's really not what you think you see. It's really, it's like Elvis. Everybody sees Elvis, but he's mm -hmm. already dead. Right. So there's some species that are extinct, uh -huh. and you go up to a much later time period, you think you see the same thing. You're like, oh, it's that species. We need to extend the range. It's not really extinct. But no, it's not really the same species. It's just an Elvis taxon. An Elvis taxon. I did not know that was a thing. It's a thing. Can you Google this and, like, see how many people have, like, put a dinosaur in an Elvis taxa. Are there still dinosaurs in an Elvis taxa, or are they just... I don't know. Most of the time it's marine invertebrates, uh, okay. because they're, they're much more easily easy to confuse than uh, dinosaurs. Okay, I was just like, what? I was like, but it's can you cool. imagine, like, there's a list of dinosaurs, and we're like, we don't know when he lived. <laughs> it just happened to think he came here, or he came to the other place. But uh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. That was a thing. <laughs> See, we're learning from each other and teaching you how to play exactly. video games. I'm like the, on the opposite side, there's there's um, uh, Lazarus taxa. <gasps> Come back from the dead. Yeah, because you think they're extinct, and then you actually do find them. <gasps> That's much like, later on. What is it? The oarfish? Didn't someone think like yeah, that they're... was extinct, and then it was like surprise? I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> Lazarus, Lazarus taxa. That's awesome. Come back from the dead. I think I already do this one. It's applied. So I think I did this one. Yep. Oh, you gotta hit the bumpers. Bumpers. Oh. Resilience. I already did that one. Defense. Uh, yes. You need that a little more often. Okay. Five span with the deck, cardio strength. What else you got? Is that everything? Yep. That's pretty much. So when you All feel right. satisfied, you just hit back. And Incubate. Alright, you got your dinosaur. Oh yeah, you got a guy that's ready to go. Four. Look at him come out. I just fall in love with all these dinosaurs. See, he's got the two rows. But, oh. <laughs> it does a little rear. Look how tough I am. Well, you know what? It's interesting is, is Stegosaurus could actually get up and on their hind feet. Serious? Hmm. In Utah, we had some places where you found only the back feet and trackways. What? Only, like, they walked on their hind feet for a not, little Not bit? for very long, but they could. They could. <gasps> or get up and nibble something out of a tree. So they just... That's fascinating. I would... You'd think, because looking at his feet, they would not be capable of doing that. Because, I guess, I don't know, I've always seen them depicted. Well, the thing about before. it is, you see, look how short his front legs are versus mm -hmm. his hind legs. Right. His, his uh, center of gravity is quite a ways back. Uh-huh. So he'd have the ability to get up. There you go. Did not he spend, know. He spent most of his time on, on all fours. But right. But he's not like one of the, like, I guess, for example, the duck-billed dinosaurs where they would 
they could pick up and like run on two legs if they wanted to, or yeah. go back to mm -hmm. four. What, what, what is that word? That when they, when they, can they do switch, both. yeah. They switch their, their, um, their, their um, no, I'm blanking. You got me blanking. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I could I I can never remember it either. Um, <laughs> I'm sure someone in the native bipedal. Oh, they're they're bipedal. That's the word. There you go. I'm like I'm sure someone in the comments will help us. Look at them yeah, gallop. I've never seen a galloping. There you go. Would you like to try a, a big dinosaur like a, a Diplodocus or a Brachiosaur? So I gotta go back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta go. Bit box. There you go. So you got some dinosaurs out there. Ooh, Reese. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot you got your notosaur. Oh, yeah. Ready? He's, he's oh, he's six, still incubating. Seventy percent though. But now I can go to this hatching bay. Mhm. Mm and let's see. What do I want to do here? Now? I don't think I have a lot of the long necks unlocked yet. I want. Uh, hmm. There's some dinosaurs I really like in this. I have to choose. There is a dinosaur that I really liked in this game. I think it was like a Ceratopsian. Um, he's got like the horns that kind of come in mm. front of his head, like a, like a cow. I think he's like maybe down or up more. I thought I would have him unlocked, maybe because I didn't complete the genus yet. Uh, I kind of like the prancing Parasaurolophus. I also kind of like the Chinese version because that's the funniest little head gear I ever. know. What is, okay, what is the deal with the headgear? Well, there's some ideas, suggestions that they actually have some empty space in there that they could use to turn them into, like, noise-making devices so they could right. use them for vibrations and call horns. Mm-hmm. But I don't, but... They're such weird different shapes. Some of it might yeah. just be that there's lots of these duck billed dinosaurs around that they could just be like, wait, are you my species? No, you're not. Mm. So, okay, so go ahead and modify his genes, and I want to ask you this question. Don't hit X. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, just cancel. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, box. Nah, yeah, there you go. Then hit box again. Okay, so I want to ask you, because we kind of also have been talking about this too. You can go ahead and make your genus. Maybe you can talk and, and pick your stuff at the same time. But we were talking about killer whales, and there's actually, they're, they're, their pods are becoming so exclusive that they're becoming like... New species. New species. So, going back to what you said about the head crest, they would look and be like, are you my kind? Do you think they would become so specialized that their particular patterns on the crest would be like, that is my pod or that is my group versus like... I think I it's very possible. I think it's a possibility. Because these guys may have been running around in some pretty big herds. Mm -hmm. They could have been in some colors for, uh, depending on size or shape of the, the, the crests, color of the crest could also be sort of sexual dimorphism to recognize male versus female male versus female mm -hmm. well I mean like I guess for example zebras I know there's some zebras um, I would I don't want to say like I don't think they're subspecies but they just there's three different kinds that have like different slightly different like striped patterns I think you, you recognize them mostly on their ears I think it's been a while. Don't Wait, quote a, me on what? that. Wait, what? Say that again. There's, I don't think they're subspecies, but they're just like, there's oh. like three different zebras, oh, like zebras, ze like yeah. different kinds of zebras, and I think you recognize them mostly on their yeah, ears. There, there are, yeah, there's, there are two or three different kinds of zebras, and then you have yeah. the quaggas that were kind of related that are extinct now. Mm -hmm. It was an extinct zebra. Right, but I mean, looking at them today, obviously there's like. They recognize their particular herd based off their their stripes, and you would think you wouldn't like notice the difference, but there are answers. There's subtle enough features that they understand that they're like, oh, that's not 
That's not my mom and dad. They they have different stripes. Like mom has that one stripe. You know what I mean? <laughs> True. She got that one stripe, and you don't have that one stripe, you know. <laughs> I pr I could just be like. And, and and dinosaurs very likely had color vision, so they would be able to see all of that, which would be kind of cool. So they they weren't color blind. They're like not dogs. color blind. Um, there's some interesting hypotheses for why some mammals are color blind and or birds color and selective. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think I've got everything done. I think so. So back with the the circle. There you go, and your notosaur is ready to run free, sir. No, no, no. Oh. The hit box, box or circle, circle. There you go. Okay, let me go back over here. There, there go. you go. Really nice dinosaur. Good again. Similar type dinosaur. Oh, look at how very different his, uh, like the head and the side. He's got. I uh, see these guys. Are, this guy's also a good one to write. Those yeah. big white mm -hmm. things over here. That's where you put your feet. It's like. Oh yeah, on the side of the, of his shoulders there. Oh, yeah. This and definitely. You can, you can push with one foot or the other to sort of guide him. Say move left, turn right. Gonna tilt. I, I don't know if I want to sit on his back based on like <laughs> the the armor on him. Well, it, it's not like trying to see the the more the the, the one that's related to Stegosaurus has the big uh, that one really can't sit on his back. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna clip through He's the wall it. there. <laughs> yeah, he goes where he wants. He goes where he wants. Okay, this this one definitely reminds me of of our little dinosaur Niobarosaurus. Do you think that's how my Aversaurus looked? Just running, loafing? I'm not sure you guys could ever run. Uh, the galloping, the galloping notosaur. I, I, <laughs> you don't know so if much. you agree with the galloping? Well, it's like the galloping. giraffes. They don't seem like they could gallop, but... but they have long legs. This guy does not have long legs. It's like a sliding stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So think, a lot of these guys, the, the difference between like the different uh, genera is really the head shape, like a wide, how flat, mm -hmm. how domed. Um, there's a lot. The teeth are all actually interesting. They're all very small, mm -hmm. little, little, and they're all kind of blade-like. Blade. They got little so not scallops. They're almost like leaf-like. So not shapes. for crushing, but for, no. for for pulling. Just just for nipping off. Fairly soft things to rip apart. So, like what he's doing right so now. So, what he's doing right now. Just pulling. Yeah. Hmm. So, how would he digest then if the if he wasn't crunching his teeth? Well, these guys have pretty long digestive tracts. They just rip off and sort of eat in bulk, and they have to do all their digesting in their in their bellies. They don't they, they don't have mastication where they have a lot of saliva and a lot. Of, Animals do a lot of digestion in their in their mouths with saliva, mm -hmm. and then some of the planters, like cows, have an extra stomach. Right. You know, I think those are called ruminants. Ruminants. Yeah. So they they would not. Really... These are not ruminants. Okay, so they would ruminate. they swallow rocks then to kind of help break leaves apart? Is that still a thing? Is that still like do animals still do some, that? Some. Some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, chickens have gizzards and they have little pebbles a lot of times mm -hmm. in the sand that oh, okay. they, they eat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if these guys necessarily did too much that, but there were some dinosaurs, some sauropods did that with swallowing rocks. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, what are you going to do now? He's going to roam. He's been satisfied. He had a snack. I thought he was going to pee in his own water. Like, <laughs> Dude, you're not very smart. It's not very smart. You made him smart, right? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh oh. Your dinosaur's ready. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, you gotta hit the circle. Get the camera off that guy. This guy. You wanna see him? I'm sure, like, they make a noise, but we, we can't hear the noise right now. There we go. <gasps> Wolf cat. Now, does that not look like a, a giant peacock? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, look at the purple on his crest. 
stand up straight. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like the color. Now he's like, now where do I go? I think I gave him some. He's got that. He's figured it out. It's dino butt. Oops. The bipeds don't do any gallop. He's like, run. where do I go, y'all? Oh, there we go. Stuff. Yeah, I got him stuck on a tree. Oh, he's going to go to the theater? Yeah, he's going to go to the theater. Wait, it's kind of short. I almost can't see it. I'm looking over. <laughs> Wait, oh, I smell it. Crunch, crunch. Oh, look at that. He's like on his feet. I'm going to move the camera. There we go. Now, look, he's on all four feet. Crunch, crunch. They kind of remind me of horses with their long heads. Oh, see, that's like it's in the shape. Oh, oh he's so cute. Look at him pick up his paw. Uh oh, food left. Oh, he's like, hey, wait, come back. Better go get a drink. Oh, ah, we got to refresh it. Brand new bush for browsing. Thin Taosaurus. Say that again, what? Thin Taosaurus. Thin. Tin. Tin. T S. Oh, T S. Tin. Thin. Thin Taosaurus. Right. I probably am butchering the name. That's See, he's kind of fat, so he, he can't too Yeah, he is a chonk boy. How did he keep himself up <laughs> on two legs? There we go. Cool. Alright, now I need to go build something else. You want to do something? You want a, another enclosure for carnivores? So your carnivores are very Wait, particular. Do we need to get some people in here to watch? I need to make some money, don't I? No, this is unlimited. Yeah, you don't okay. have to worry about making money. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll just maybe we'll call this like a part two. Should we, we'll see how people think, and then right. we'll see if people want to. Well, I like this guy because he can actually get in the water. Oh yeah, look at him wade into the water. Oh, I bet he's lonely. He's kind of lonely. We'll have to make more. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> okay, well, uh oh, we got a disease. Okay, no. we're, we're leaving at the right time. The disaster is striking. No. <laughs> so, we will call this an episode for now. Um, cool, I like this. I don't want to quit. We will, I'm having fun. We will come back, Reese. Don't worry. Um, if our audience like it, leave us a like. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoy this. Um, don't be afraid to ask some questions. He is like a bona fide paleontologist playing a dinosaur game. So I just think that's cool. I'm like I had so many questions to ask you and I forgot how to them. But <laughs> I never got to play these guys. Yes, so that's Chinese cool. they, are awesome. they are awesome. Well thank thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we will see you again on a new way to museum. Bye. See ya Thanks for joining us in A New Way to Museum with the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Support us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. You can also follow us on all our social media. Links are found in the description. Thanks for watching and follow your curiosity to new discoveries.